Hello, my name is Frederick from the Cosmetology Exchange. Today we're going to do a short class on what it takes to become a hairstylist, the things that are most important in your uh, career, and the things you need to focus on. Okay. Now, first of all, as an instructor, I can give you your technical skills, and that's about all you can get from the school. Okay. That's what the school is there for, to teach you those technical skills and give you a base to work off of. It is not the end of your education. You have to constantly and constantly go to classes and uh, seminars and shows just to stay up on the new trends and the new techniques. Okay? So one of the first things that you have to have, you have to have artistic ability. You have to have some type of art that you did before you even came to school. Uh, if you look at a lot of hairstylists backgrounds, a lot of them paint, uh, as you can see I paint, uh, a lot of them do music, a lot of them sing, a lot of them act, and um, <clears throat> you have dancers, uh, but there's always something that they did that was really, really artistic and they were really good at and they can get into when they were a kid or when they were a little bit younger. Uh, and a lot of times that even will make us focus a little bit more on what we want to do in our future. Okay. So, that artistic ability is something that a school really can't teach you. That's something that you have to be born with. That's something that has to be inside of you before you decide to become a hairstylist. It'll help you once you get there, but to get started, you got to have some type of artistic drive. Uh, so that's very, very important. Second, technical skills. School, school, school and more school. While you are a student in cosmetology school, suck up as much of the knowledge as you possibly can. Get those instructors by themselves and ask them questions about things that you want to know about that is not in your textbook or your curriculum. Now one of the wonderful things that has happened with the school system is they've started to implement computers, uh, which is something that hairstylists really need to get into a little bit more. Uh, with, uh, computing, uh, you can run your business on a computer. Uh, within the next couple of years, you will not be able to file your taxes unless you have a computer. Um, so those technical skills are very, very important. It gives you a base to grow on. Okay, there are four basic haircuts that you need to learn in school. Right? Same thing. Make sure that you learn as much as you possibly can about every subject. And don't just take it for granted. You have the internet, go to that internet, start studying, look for some answers. Okay? So don't just be satisfied with what somebody tells you. Make sure that you look for yourself. Okay? So make sure you go to school every day. Don't miss school in cosmetology school. One day can cost you your license. What the school is there to teach you is to how to pass your test and how to get those licenses. How to adhere to state board. That is extremely important. That is one of the most important things in your career. Once you get that license, you will have to renew that license every two years. And in order to do that, you have to go to advanced classes in order to do that, to make sure that your skills stay up. And that's important. Okay? So make sure that you get into a good school. Before you start school, go in there, talk to the, the administrator get toured through the school, talk to some of the students and ask them how they think, what they think about the school because they'll tell you the truth. The uh, person who's touring you through the school and signing you up is trying to make a sale and uh, if they don't care about your future they're just going to sell to make that money. Okay, So understand that's their job, that's what they do. Okay, So talk to some of the students and ask them what they think because that's really important. You don't want to get into a situation that isn't going to work for you. Okay. Another thing that you need is good business sense. Now what I mean by this is learn to keep really good specific records. Your records are very very important. Your client files are extremely important. This is a business and as a hairstylist you the individual are an individual business business is very important. If you get a chance, go to some of the uh, junior colleges if you don't have a lot of money. Go to some of the entrepreneurial classes that you see. Make sure you go to as many networking events as you possibly can. If someone is giving a presentation in their salon, make sure that you show up 
to see that presentation. Make sure you introduce yourself to that person. And if you want to know how to run a business, ask someone who is running a business. Talk to your salon owner. See what the profit margins are. See how good business is. Understand, business can be good, but it's also going to get bad. And it will get bad. When those times come, your good business sense is what's going to get you through that. Okay? So, whatever you bring in, what I suggest to a lot of students is that you put 20% to 30% of that money up. Do not touch it. Put yourself on a commission if you work for yourself. If you work for somebody else under commission or at a uh, salary or dollar amount, take 20% of that and put that away. That is very, very important. As a hairstylist, one little thing can stop you from making your money. Slam your finger in a door. You can't cut hair anymore. Okay? So it's very, very important. Very important that your business skills are there. Learn to keep good records and save, save, save. I cannot say that more. Just save as much money as you possibly can. Uh, these careers are very short and they are very hard on your body. Your body will eventually break down. Most stylists might last. You'll find a lot of us that have lasted in the 20s and some into the 30s and 40s and 50s. But that's very rare nowadays. A lot of stylists are very young and they don't understand the toll that this is going to take on their body. It's a very physical job. So make sure that you stay in good shape. So the next thing is something that's really, really important. It's called personality. Okay? You have to have a personality that can gel with anyone who sits in your seat. What we call this is being a chameleon. A chameleon is a lizard that changes its colors depending on the background that it's up against. It's the same thing as a stylist. Whatever that customer wants to talk about, you need to talk about. Whatever that customer does, you need to have some knowledge about it. You will have customers that might be janitors at a company, but you also have the vice president of that company in your chair at the same time. Realize that those two conversations are going to be completely different because of their perspective on where they work. So, be able to change as your customer changes. Be able to uh, adapt to what they need you for that day. It's not just about the styling. What we do as hairstylists is we try to make people feel good about themselves. And a lot of times, that's hard to do. Okay? So, make sure that you're going to gel with that customer. And in order to do that, you have to pay attention to them. And you have to be able to adapt to that situation. Uh, sometimes you might have more than one type of customer in your chair and one under the dryer. And you have to have a conversation between these three people. You being one of them. So... Try to stay on point with your conversations, and like I said, it's not about you, it's about that customer. Pay attention to them, and they'll make sure that you're going to be okay. Okay? Now, this is the last one, and to me it's very, very, very important. It's called compassion. Now, some people mistake compassion for passion. They're completely different. Compassion is listening to your customer, understanding that it's not about you, it's about them. So, to do that, you have to listen. Listen, listen, listen. Every customer that sits in your chair has their own story. You should know some part of it. If they have a son who's in college, you need to ask them about that son the next time they come in. That's important to them. Okay? So it's important to have compassion about what you do and with your customer. So listen to what they ask you, listen to what they tell you, and focus, focus, focus. By doing this, you will become an excellent hairstylist in no time. But it does take more than being able to put in a curl with some flat irons or spike some hair. Uh, we'll get to the uh, quick weave thing uh, in another class. So. Thank you guys for coming and listening, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you got something out of it. Uh, we will be starting to do this at least once a week. 
Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, see you next time.